So you've just been invited to a friend's server or started a new world in general. You'd like to get geared and ready to do anything you'd like. So where to start? What's the fastest way for you to get all the preparations you need to build massive castles, massive farms, and fight the most powerful players and mobs? Well, in a couple short minutes, I'll tell you all you need to know to get absolutely stacked. Note this guide is made both for new players and experienced, although completely new players are advised to seek a more explaining, less fast-paced guide. First things first, you need basic tools. Stone tools to be exact. When you have these, you can start your search for a village. Villages are extremely overpowered in Minecraft and will easily set you up for your world. So just keep running along until you find one. Make sure to kill all animals you find on the way and cook their meat. You'll want some food for the travel. After you've found your village, set up base in the biggest house of the village, add some chests and furnaces. These will help you a lot on your Minecraft journey. After you've done this, lead a jobless villager in a hole or block up a house that has a villager in it. This guy will be our Fletcher after some encouragement involving a fletching table. Now find some woods. Any kind works, since wood type won't matter, although try to go for one that has trees packed as densely as possible for maximum efficiency. After crafting your wood to sticks, you can trade with your Fletcher to obtain emeralds. Now use two other villagers you trapped to get an armorsmith, requiring a blast furnace, and a toolsmith, requiring a smithing table. These can sell you enchanted diamond armor and tools for emeralds, effectively for wood. So grind wood until you have these. Don't worry about perfect enchantments, we'll get those later. Also, as a quick side note, consider getting a butcher villager, which uses a smoker as its job block. The butcher will be able to sell you five cooked pork chops, statistically the best source of food in the game, for just one emerald, an amazing deal. So now proceed to find a lava pool. Above and underground will both work, so just do what's best for you. If you're in a big plains or desert biome, just search the land, but if you're in a denser, less open biome, try to find a cave leading to an underground lava pool. Here, use a water bucket to build a nether portal. Since you have a diamond pickaxe from the toolsmith, you could just even cool all the lava and mine its obsidian to build a portal in your village a lot more accessible. And when you've built your portal, enter the nether. Your first course of action will be to find a nether fortress. This may take a bit, nether fortresses are notoriously hard to find. If you truly can't find a fortress, maybe consider using Chunkbase, a website that can tell you the location of all fortresses in the world using the world seed. This will only work for single player though, since while slash seed will work in your single player world, it won't work on servers without a seed cracker modification to your game. When you've found a fortress, one way or another, fight blazes until you have, at the very least, 7 blaze rods, but preferably a few more, say 10. Now use a warped nether biome to collect at least 14 ender pearls. If you aren't able to find one or want a safer approach, go back to your village and use a brewing stand to get a cleric villager, who will be able to sell you ender pearls at the level before last two times out of three. Proceed to use your newly acquired eyes of ender to find a stronghold. Locate the library room and mine bookshelves to acquire one to two stacks of books. Your next step now depends on whether you're allowed to enter the end. Many servers prohibit defeating the Ender Dragon. If your server is one of these, skip to the time currently shown on screen. If you can enter the end, keep watching. Obviously, you'll want to start by defeating the Ender Dragon. Now go on to loot a couple end cities. These will be your source of perfect gear. So feel free to keep looting cities until you have gear you'll want to use for the rest of your Minecraft journey. Don't forget you'll be able to combine different pieces of gear in an anvil. And don't worry about mending, you'll get that very soon. When you're done with the end, get back to the overworld. Your first step will now be to get a librarian, requiring a lectern. Reroll his trade until he sells you mending, then use an anvil to apply said mending to your armor and tools. And after this, you're pretty much set. If you have a pillager outpost near your village, maybe consider building ENX-04's raid farm, a farm that can be built in about two hours and will supply you with an infinite stock of emeralds, redstone, and totems of undying. 
However, other than that, you're set. The link to this farm will be in the description. So feel free to skip forward to the time shown on screen. Now comes the part for the non-end users. If you can't enter the end, proceed to get back home to your village. First, get a librarian villager to sell you mending books. Buy one for every piece of your gear. Now go to the nether and, at the top of the nether, build ENXO4's zombie piglin farm. Link in description. At this farm, also set up an enchanting area with an enchantment table, 15 bookshelves, a grindstone and an anvil, and use this farm to get perfect gear. Make sure to apply the mending. And after this, you're pretty much set. If you have a pillager outpost near your village, maybe consider building ENXO4's raid farm, a farm that can be built in about two hours and will supply you with an infinite stock of emeralds, redstone, and totems of undying. However, other than that, you're set. The link to this farm will be in the description. And so, we have reached the end of the video. Feel free to like if you liked the video, and subscribe if you really liked it, but with that out of the way, I will see you in the next video. Bye.